thermal unit clone force 99. The defective clones with the uh, desirable mutations. They call themselves the Bad Batch. next year everyone welcome back to empire radio's 100th episode extravaganza i'm jeremiah i'm drew and i'm andrew and we are back with bad batch season one episode 16 camino lost but is this our extravaganza? I mean, it is our 100th episode. It is our 100th episode. That yeah. that almost is. I think it deserves should, another. Should I say extravaganza part one. Part yeah. one. <laughs> yes, thank you, everyone in the chat. Can we get a burn, 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 burn? I don't know how that would be a lot of typing, but you guys should do that in the yeah, chat. Yeah, Woody, that'd be dope. But no, yes, good. this is Empire Radio's 100th episode. <sighs> if you're not counting. Clone Wars save podcast and stuff we did in the Mandalorian podcast and yeah stuff. we're way past that then <laughs> <laughs> then we're way past that we we, we missed that a long time yeah, ago yeah 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 that's but true this is our official 100th episode for Empire Radio wow. yeah and to celebrate uh we're we're gonna be talking about uh them releasing the cast of the last Airbender right mm-hmm they did <laughs> yeah <laughs> is it good not, or bad not that it's relevant um I, I would say good. Do I even know anybody that's in the cast? I don't know of anybody, but I will say that they're, at the very least, they're Asian, and that's good. So. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, I mean, saw the cast after you said that, Andrew. I'm well, excited. Now I have to, now, I wish I could have looked at that before. Now I'm that's, like. It's fine. Now you're on the edge of your seat. Yeah, my, uh, the, David said, there's, there are nobody actors, yay. I don't know about that. They're nobody actors to us Americans. Yeah, I'm. So, wait. I, well, no, no, no. I don't think they. I don't. I, they're all relatively new. Oh, okay. And well. and they cast they cast for the age too really well. Like the kid who's playing Aang, is sorry, Ong. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Everybody's no. like, no, 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 no. Stop uh, it. The, the guy who's playing Aang, uh, he's young. Like he, it's it's age appropriate for sure. I so, wonder. I mean. You Not got, that this is a, an Avatar of the Last Air No, but, but at the same time, most, if not all, Star Wars have been no-name actors. You're right, yeah. So... I mean, relatively, yeah. But are these actors and actresses, like, from Asia, or are they American actors because it's an American show? Or is I it going to be, like... They're, they're either Asian or Asian-American. I mean... Like, it's probably going to be in English. Is that what you're asking, Jeremiah? Yeah, because if it's, it's don't. Su- uh, I have to read subtitles. Uh, I'm out of here. Sorry. Come on, you're missing out on so many. Have you seen Train to Busan? No, he still hasn't no, seen Kingdom. We've gone I, over this. I, also, Jeremiah, there is a dub I've, version of Kingdom. So if you want to, I have do that. You in could. the past, I've wanted to watch that Train to Busan because I've heard it's really good. It's phenomenal. I've it's only watched one Asian film with the subtitles in my life that I can think of. And what is it? Tunnel. Wait, so is that the one where he gets stuck? Yeah, with the oh the yeah 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 yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Yo, that's a good. That's a really good movie. It's, I know. Oh, it's you good. Yeah. What's the one? What's a s- scary movie one that like won all the awards like before COVID? Parasite. Parasite. You need to watch that. Bro, okay. Parasite is freaking crazy. It's so good. It's a psychological uh, thriller, uh, and then at the end, you're like, "What let's, the living heck?" No thanks. Let's just say Stephanie won't go in our basement. Because she can't fit wait, down wait, there. Wait. I can barely fit in your basement. What? Wait, she could fit down there better than you. That doesn't make any sense. Did Parasite affect her that much? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> wow. See, I didn't but, ha- it didn't have the same effect on me. I just thought it she's was She's scared freaking, of everything, like, though. Oh, okay. She couldn't sleep for like two days after watching the Kingdom movie. A Bad Batch season. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of, speaking of feet, we're going to... I'm going to share a little bit about one of mine in later in this episode. True. So, But yeah, so... What were your guys' overall thoughts on this episode? 
You want me to go? Yeah. Sure. It was okay. That's it? You're not going to elaborate? Uh, they should have just made it one long episode. It would have been way better. If we didn't have to wait a week for this episode... I think it, they could have, they honestly could have just made it one long episode, like the first episode of the season, and it would be an amazing episode. But because we waited a week and the outcome was literally just them running the entire episode, and like we didn't really get any, clo- like, there's some closure, not really. No one died, like, spoilers. Like, I don't know. Like, it was, it was okay. I mean, if they're watching, if they're listening to this or watching this. True. It's kind of a. I always just say it. I always yeah, just say. Yeah, that's true. But overall, I thought it was a fun episode. It was good. There's a lot of the the animation was amazing. Like the whole thing. There's always a bigger fish. No, there wasn't. Well, we don't know that. That, that was a that was a missed opportunity for them to have when another fish thing, eat when, it, and then when that thing was gnawing on the tube. Yeah, that's one fair. came and like. Well, they should have had the Zillow Beast down there underwater swimming around, and it came by. Gosh. But are they aquatic? Do we know if they're aquatic? It was genetically modified so it could live underwater. Oh, that's a good plot armor piece. And and it's like Jurassic Park, (laughs) and we're like, because the power went off, like it was able to escape its cage. Oh. And that's why it was swimming around. Have you seen Jurassic Park? Yes. I've seen All 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 of them, yeah. Even Jurassic World? I said all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's five of them, right? I just yeah. The original yes. three, and then the two, and then they're making the third one. So there's five so far. Oh. I've seen all of them. Yes. Yeah, that's good. All right. But yes, I I was just kind of underwhelmed, to say the least. Uh, yeah. Piggybacking off of what you were saying, um, it, yeah. I mean. I, 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 I wanted more of a, I guess more of a sucker punch to the gut with this. I'm not saying someone had to die. No. But I, but I like I was I guess you know when you think of a season finale. I guess in recent years, I've been more trained to expect something more shocking, something more of a cliffhanger. Um something that changes the overall universe as a whole more like Loki, the end of Loki season one. Correct. Yeah. I mean, that's that, 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 that is a prime example. Um, kingdom season two drew where they <sighs> like literally introduce a new character in the last 30 seconds of the episode and then just leave you like who, what, what? It, yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I, I thought it was good. I thought, I thought it was, Obviously, it was a beautiful episode. The music was incredible. There were a few times, there were there were quite a few times that I thought we were going to lose someone, and then we didn't. And there was a, a a lot of relief. Like there was a genuine, there's a genuine amount of relief there. Um, but and of course, there's this this idea of like, oh, we're this good thing's happening. Oh wait. Oh now this good good thing's happening. Oh wait, here's another obstacle. Yeah. So which I, I guess is suiting. Uh, for the for the setting and for what they're going through but um i don't know i there was a part of me that wanted more to happen i guess because i I mean because like you know you know we were talking last week about how we all were well me and drew at least were hoping that right that it was going to be getting off camino really quickly and then more yeah was it yeah was it me and and you or was it me and jeremiah it was you too yeah. yeah. And 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 the whole thing was Camino and that's fine. Like um I yeah, I I wanted something I wanted something kind of huge and I think they left it really open-ended, which is good knowing that there's a season 2. There's a lot they can do with this. Um so I I, I guess in in preparation for season 2, they did a good job of setting up kind of a blank slate. And obviously we've got the you know, we've got the final scene, um, but that that final scene, but without it, going without going too much into it, because I know we'll we'll talk about it later. It, it was it was like, 
yes, it was a good cliffhanger. And yes, there are some pretty strong expanded universe kind of implications that they might be bringing something into canon. But like at the same time, it's it's kind of it's like, OK, you know. Yeah, like, know. it was, it seemed like it was supposed to be a bigger thing, but, like, obviously we knew that she was taken. You know what I mean? Like, without going into more details, like, we knew they took her. I think that scene would have been really cool if it was Dr. Percy that came up and talked to her. Okay, he's, like, five years old. <laughs> oh, that, that wasn't, true. That wasn't him. The person in that scene was a female. No, no, I'm saying yeah. it would have been cool, but I guess, oh, yeah, he's, cool. he's only you. five. That makes I'm, sense. I'm I'm guessing. Well, we'll get we'll talk. About That's it. her, offspring, kid, kid or little brother or something. Oh. We don't have a name for that character because I looked in the credits and it's just medical officer. So, mm -hmm. it's, they probably didn't want to put Miss Pershing or something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's the kid's mom. Oh. Yeah. So I. I. You know, I don't want to be like a downer. Yeah, me think, either. Think, I'm not trying I think to it be. Was a, I think it was a really, really strong episode, mm -hmm. but not what I was. I guess I was hoping for for the the weight of a season finale. Now, Andrew, would it be even a crazier episode? Is at the end of that, it was credits, and then all of a sudden, boom, season two. Yeah, I think it would have been better. I think I mean I I do I, yeah I mean but like it does it still doesn't change the fact that like the ending was just safe. Yeah, well that's why I'm saying, but that's why I was saying if they would have combined last episode and this one as one long episode, oh, it'd be yeah. way better. Like yeah, the whole episode true. would have yeah. been amazing, but because they split it up, it kind of like gave I don't know made us almost like. It took us back a step, it almost feel like. But if you watch them in order, it probably wouldn't. Like, if you watched last week's and this week all at yeah. once, it wouldn't take us back. But because we had to wait a full week, it kind of took me back a step, which I did not appreciate. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Jeremiah, what did you think? So I think this, this episode is kind of the same as a lot of the other episodes where the episode itself as a standalone thing Mm -hmm. is amazing like i have nothing wrong with the episode at all like i think it's yeah might be the best visual one so far it's oh for sure yeah mm -hmm. super emotional and all that stuff but it didn't look forward as much as i was hoping it was going to be that yeah. was gonna do like it yes we know there's gonna be the conflict between crosshair and the group again i'm kind of over it <laughs> I don't and, know about you guys. I'm over it. I don't care. Well, I think I don't know. I think it's I think it's gonna turn out what they're gonna do is still gonna turn out great. Like I'm not worried about that. Like I'm not over that, but like No, I'm I over think, crosshair. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm oh. saying I, I'm not over it. Like I think it's they're gonna do its justice. I think it's gonna work out well. But it's like like there's nothing like they could have ended it with crosshair getting picked up. And then it implying something that he's gonna have to do, or something like. I guess, like I said, it didn't push look forward enough. The only look forward we have, like we know there's still gonna be a conflict, and then the last scene with Nala say, and that's all speculation. But like, it was very kind of like, like Andrew said, safe ending. But it was just it was very like a rounded ending. Like it wasn't looking forward enough for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, like, that's what that's. I'm pretty sure that's all. So like the felt. episode itself, I have no complaints. It's just like the cliffhanger, like because I think we're so used to like rebels, like every season finale, huge, huge cliffhanger. Yeah. And then like even the end season. of the show had a bigger cliffhanger than this. Yeah. Like the end of Rebels had a bigger cliffhanger than this one did. Yeah. Yeah. And then like the end of season of each season of the Mandalorian huge cliffhangers about what's going to happen. And so, yeah, like, um, we're just used to that with Star Wars, but this one is kind of like, oh. Well, well I, I think we're we're used to that in general. We, I mean, that's it's all over cinema. It's all over TV. 
like even Daddy Pablos in the chat said, I thought there was going to be a post credit scene like the Book of Boba and the Mandalorian or oh, other cool. parts. Oh, I, I, I scrubbed for one the second it did. Yeah. I was like, okay, let me look. Let me go through it. And, and like other parts of Disney Plus media, like yeah, we're really used to that in all media. And so, yeah, it was kind of just, uh, oh, it ended. <laughs> It became a, t a kid's show all of a sudden. Yeah. I feel like the yeah. ending just be oh, we forgot. This is a kid's show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll do our scene-by-scene scene breakdown. Uh, it starts out with Vice Admiral Am uh, Rampart just standing on the bridge, looking out at the destruction with no emotion. <laughs> like... I thought he would have like a, at least a slight smirk. Like, nah, he's just doing his job. It's just another day, right? But I thought he would take pleasure in his work. Like, some people like their job, but yeah, uh. I, I guess getting tasks done isn't important to him. Like, he's not like giddy or anything. Hmm. But um, he's looking on as it's going on, and um. A clone comes in and gives a status report and says that all the buildings have collapsed. Um, and it was interesting because that clone had, was very, like, I don't know how to describe like, not hesitant or slightly distraught or whatever, but he didn't like giving that report. But I don't know if you kind of caught this or not, but he said all the buildings have collapsed into the water. And then after that, it pans down and there's still the structure that hasn't collapsed yet that the bad batch are in. Yeah. So he, do you think he gave a false report? Like trying to give hope that like they'll stop shooting and maybe that structure will still stand with survivors in it of some sort. Or I don't know if you read into that as much. As I didn't me, really but... read into it. I was just like, Oh, I guess this one's about to go. And I mean, to be fair, it did. It did. Yes. But, I didn't. I didn't even be think about it because they the ships t started turning around and it pan I think it pans down and that structure is still standing, and so like they left assuming that they all collapsed, but there's still one standing. So I thought maybe some of the clones or that specific clone was trying to like get them to stop so that if there were survivors, they could have a chance, but we'll never know. That, I mean, that would be a nice way to deepen the story a little bit, but... Yeah. But also in that bridge, because it, it pans up again to, like, when it's before the clone gives his report, it's down, like, on the lower part of the walkway, and there's cl uh, clones at the computers, but then there's some random guy standing behind them. Like, they're already getting replaced in those ships also, like... Not just uh, the TK troopers, but now the officers yeah. are, are becoming recruited as well. So I thought that was just an interesting um, detail. Um, so, like you said, it done, that, structure, that structure does start to fall, and they're just sliding down. And I, I really liked how they did this scene where it, falls down like at an angle and they're sliding down and hanging and then when it hits the ocean floor it tips back flat and they're able to walk on flat ground. I thought that was interesting because usually mm -hmm. they don't really do that kind of stuff in yeah. movies. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I thought it was just a cool way of giving tension but then making it at least easier for them to walk around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh when so it's they slide down and then eventually um when it levels out some like one of the, the doors close and i thought the i thought that door closing scene was pretty early in the episode wasn't that right yeah. away yeah after, when it falls yeah right i could have sworn that wasn't that before the admiral rampart scene no true I thought the no. opening scene was uh, him. Wasn't. The I opening scene is him. Yeah. Maybe you're right. And so they... So I... Because things are collapsing, and so um, we see Crosshair gets trapped under some 
whatever stuff. Yep. And I caught that Omega and him were trapped on this one side before they showed it. Um, did you guys catch that they were before yep. they saw, yeah. saw it? Okay. So I was like, I was assuming what was going to happen was Omega and Crosshair were going to have to hang out together and like find the way to get around and they were going to work together. And that was what would might have caused Crosshair to get a be good, soften, be good or soften his heart some way or whatever, or at least change his mind about things. But it was kind of resolved pretty quickly. But I like that scene of Omega saving Crosshair. Yeah, I thought the I, I thought her shooting her bow into the water was gorgeous. Yeah, the, I, the animation what for that part and the way that it displaced the water and it reacted, dude. Oh, it was. Let me just say this: this animated water in this episode was the oh, best animated water I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's so good. I want to see so even good. when she went in the water, her hair was like going oh, up, dude. and then she got out, and yeah, her hair water, was like the straight. water simulation stuff was. I I really uh, want much. I really want quarter crew to react to yeah same to water in this episode. Yeah, it dude. This there was some. <laughs> Good water in this episode. Good water. Um, but yeah, so I figured that she might have like take out her bow and start shooting, but I wasn't sure. But I really liked how she's like, like she was commanding AZ to like get under the water and use your propellers like to help lift or whatever. I thought that was as her leadership, like doing what has to get done. Um, and she frees. And I like how she pulls him out of the water. And when he like kind of like comes to you, like he like like moves like to get off me like I don't need your help like yeah. uh kind of you did but whatever um it's it's crosshair yeah it's in his nature he Help can't you. change that that is true but while this is happening the water is rising on that side of the door and tech. Uh, Wrecker and Hunter are on the other side trying to pry the door open. So, like, Tech's like, I can't override this. And Wrecker's like, oh, I can. And he <laughs> whips out his knife and starts trying to, like, pry it open, which is pretty cool. Um, and so they open it up long enough for them to, to get sucked out, and then they close it so they don't drown. But, um, and so they kind of reconvene, and so that... The structure is flooding, and they have to try and find a safe spot. And so, uh, across there is a scene where he's standing in the hallway while while the other three are going forward, but Omega's there, just kind of looking at him, and he's kind of like, "I don't know what to do." Like he's like, "I guess I can go with them," and he kind of lingers back, and then eventually goes, um, which was just him kind of like pondering, because he could have gone his pondering. I don't know if he could have gone a separate way. I don't know if there was another hallway there where he could have tried Dude, to find let's be way. real. What? It, it, that would have been a stupid move on his part. True. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go on my own. No, you won't. Dude, one, you don't have any, you don't have any weapons. <laughs> it's kind of, you don't have any equipment. Like, what are you going to do? It's kind of like when you say uh, bye to someone, but you end up walking the same direction. Yeah, like... yeah it's like... <laughs> it's oh, like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. You might, you might want to... I want to stay with the people who will increase your odds of living, but that's fine. You know, whatever. Yes. But, uh, they find their way back to their old barrack, their own their old bedroom area, private area. And so everything's been cleaned out and it's, uh, just empty basically. But the, the uh, scratches on the wall for every successful mission was so there uh, Wrecker was excited for that. And then this is where um, Hunter or uh, Crosshair is like, all those missions are for nothing. Like, but it's all waste, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then there's the tension of um, Hunter. He's like, well, we made a choice and you made a choice too, blah, blah, blah. And Hunter, he goes and off and sits on the ledge by the window. And, uh, Omega goes and sits next to him. He's like, she's like, I, I really wanted to believe that you were the way you were because of your chip, but now I know it's just who you are or whatever. Now a big like slap to the face. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Drew had actually just asked. He was like, 
do you do you really think he's had his shit removed? I was like, yeah, he has. And then she that's what she said. And yeah, I was like, I was Aww. like, yeah, that's even sadder than you think. Yep. Uh, but they realized. Um, let's see. Yeah. So was it from their from that room they saw that they landed on the tube, or did they go somewhere else? I can't remember. No, no, no. It was from there. Okay. So they realized that they landed on top of the underground underwater tubing system, which was very convenient. Um, Dude, I'm telling you, it was like, it was like, oh no, we're in a bad situation. Oh, here's a way out. Oh darn, we're in another bad situation. Here's a way out. Oh, darn, we're in another. <laughs> well, what, like, that's how it has to be. I though. know. Like, I was just, I, it would just, I was just like, just get out, and let's do some really interesting stuff off of Camino. You know, let's let's spruce spruce things up a little bit. So get but, like, get it spiced like, up. Like take salsa dancing lessons, or what are you? What do you mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Little tequila, little salsa dancing. Uh. Some uh, some nice like flamenco guitar. Can you, can you imagine Tech and Crosshair being like salsa dancers? <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that there is some fan art of that somewhere on the internet. If not, someone in our Discord or one of our fans <laughs> out there make make that a uh, a fan thing. art right there. Salsa dancing with the Bad Batch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Why not? Honestly, well, who who would who would be the partners for each of the Bad Batch members? Like, uh, Wrecker and Crosshair. No, well, I mean, like, if they were to get like someone else, like a female Star Wars character, like, like Hunter and Padme, even though they're not alive at the same time, but um. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't prepared for this. I could cr- crosshair and aura sing, that could be a thing. Yeah, that would be good. Uh Wrecker and Leia. Oh. No. Wrecker and, and uh Cara Dune. <laughs> oh, Cara Dune. Yeah, they'd just be like I don't know if they'd be dancing much as this wrestling. I feel like yeah. Wrecker and Sid could be a, a fun <laughs> yeah, Oh that would be funny. <laughs> Hunter uh, and Ahsoka. I don't know. Uh, Jeremiah's like, uh, only I can dance with Ahsoka. No, no. no. <laughs> I'd, I'd be too intimidated by Ahsoka. But anyway, um, AP, or AP? A- AZ, AZ, sorry. AZ. AZ uh, was able to... Uh, Cut through freaking like three feet of metal flooring. Yeah, like holy like, smoke. <laughs> yeah, that he, I saw him doing it and it fell out. And Drew had the same reaction tonight that I did this morning. We were both like, "Whoa, that floor was way thicker than we thought it was." Gonna <laughs> yeah, be. that was like thirty inches, which is like you could drive a car if that was ice. Like that was really deep. Like you could put a full ice house on that piece of metal. Well, it's funny. Tell like... me, tell me, you live in Minnesota without telling me you live in Minnesota. <laughs> Yo, you could totally, you could drive a car on that if it was ice. <laughs> I mean, you could like it's so that's funny safe. Like, that's safe to have an ice house on. Yeah. Oh no. I, 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 I got that. another one. Ask me that same question. Tell me you live in Minnesota. Uh, without telling without me. Without telling me. Yeah. Without telling me you live in Minnesota. Duck, duck, gray duck. Get out! Burr, burr, burr. Dirty. Burr, burr, burr. Hit that button! Burr, burr. No, yes. I'm not. I'm not hitting the button for that when it's supposed to be goose. No, it's uh, no. The original, thing, the original thing is duck, duck, great. We're not going to talk about that's this how, right how now. that's history. Okay, facts don't care about your feelings. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yes. Please continue. That little AZ droid was able to go through like three feet of like. Better than like some people with a lightsaber. Sometimes it seems like he was like, like really quick, but I don't know uh, if it was really quick. I feel like we just didn't see all of it. That is but... true. They could, they could have been there for like four hours. <laughs> they could have been there for. He's, doing, he's going like circle all the way around like multiple times, and that's why he drained all of his battery. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so it drops down, and it's he's like, oh, it's safe to go. There's no water down here. Like we're good. <laughs> I just looked. I just looked down into view twist goes maybe that's why AZ ran out of power. He cut through three feet of metal. Honestly <laughs> though, that probably is. Anyways. It definitely didn't help his case for sure. 
for sure. Because right after that, that's when he started mentioning that he was low on power, like shortly after that. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so now that now they're in the tunnel, going through a tunnel and cross heresy is a little crack mm-hmm. forming and dripping. He's like, "We gotta go back." And this this next part was a little a little like rough for me. Like when uh, Wrecker's like, "Well, if it wasn't for you, wouldn't we wouldn't be in this situation?" And Crusher's like, "Is something on your little brain right now, Wrecker?" And I was like, "Oh gosh, that's so mean." Like whatever, and like he tries to like forget what what is uh, record exactly say. Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember, but it's something along the lines of, you know, like attacking the way he was responding. Right. And then that's when Tex steps in and he's like, don't like, don't worry, don't worry about it, Wrecker. Like, it's literally part of who Crosshair is. He can't, can, he can't do anything about it. It's part of his nature. And then Crosshair's like, why are you defending me? Uh, and he was like, I understand you. I, I'm not defending you. Even though I understand you, it doesn't mean I have to agree with you. And I was like, burr, 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 burr. that is something that I have thought of saying to people a lot in the recent years. But um, it is a true, true. Uh, it's a good one. Good proverb. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a good idea. Think about it. Like, it's okay to understand people, try and understand people, and but that doesn't mean you have to agree with them. So no. Yeah, like, I mean, th- let's it, let's talk about the EU right now. That's where Jeremiah. And yeah, I yeah, I still don't understand you. It, <laughs> I understand Maybe. with you, Andrew. <laughs> but uh, I don't know yes. if I agree, but I understand. Thank you. But yes, they continue on mm-hmm. through the tunnel. Yep, and they hear something. Yep, off into the distance. Of course yep. they do. And there's a big giant monster outside yeah. swimming around. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, turn off your flashlights, and then you're good to go. Like, honestly, though, no, th- no, because that mean? thing, that thing has way better sight than that. Well, it that's lives true. In dark, super deep water. Mm-hmm. And it was cool how like they said that, like that thing could always destroy anyone that goes through there but there's a mechanism that causes it to protect it's normally protected when yeah it's normally protected the tube is i'm just saying having their lights on didn't help their cause oh no it didn't but no but it still would have i think the movement would have gotten it gotten its attention anyways but i i agree with jeremiah in the beginning of this episode it's kind of weird how that's the only fish they saw they didn't see that that flew or did they? They, swam by. they flew. They 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 ocean flew by. <laughs> they, oh. they they flew through the water. Um, There's right, well, flying fish, I guess. They specifically didn't see it, but we as watchers could see them swim by. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this this part of the this part of the episode uh, made my skin crawl just a little bit. Oh yeah, you were gonna mention. So explain your your feelings with us. So and and it's actually interesting, Daddy Palps. Uh, said that said he dealt with the, or deals with the same thing. So I don't know what it is, but there's something about one being in open water underneath. Because like I, I guess I'm a little bit less freaked out on top of the water. Like if I'm floating or like if I'm deep sea fishing, totally fine. I'm, uh, I'm gonna it's up your really puking the whole time. <laughs> I, I mean, sure, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna puke, but like I'm fine. Cruise ships, fine, totally fine. It's not being out on the water, but it's like the 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 feeling of being underneath the water not being able to see the 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 seabed and it just being dark all around you like dude it freaks me out and then two the idea of a a big fish swimming slowly towards you or whatever and fading in out of the water dude it like I, i wouldn't say like i'm petrified of that like i could deal with it in the moment but like it for sure it freaks me out you're so telling us you're never going to swim with sharks? Is that what you're trying to say? No. Heck no. no. What, if, what if it's shallow water and you can like stand in the water, but there's, there's sharks swimming oh, around? Oh, 100%. If, if, if I can touch the bottom and I can see the bottom, I'm fine. And, and, and it's not the sharks. I'm, mm-hmm. like, I'm not afraid of sharks. 
it's but, the it's this weird thing with the water. I don't know what it is, but so it's actually called. There's a phobia. Uh, thalassophobia. Thalassophobia. Because the fear of being in deep bodies of water, fear of vast emptiness of the sea, of sea waves, sea creatures, and fear of distance from the land. Um, so obviously there are a few of those things that don't apply. But how did you ought- feel? How did you feel about the movie Finding Nemo and Finding Dory? I was fine. Oh, okay. I, it, it was like kids' movies. I don't know. I it didn't it didn't really have a th- it didn't have a an effect on me. Um, like I can watch movies and stuff. Like again, it's not like a crazy phobia. Like it's not paralyzing or anything. Uh, but it, it freaks me out because th- there's a few shots where like it comes in slowly f- in the glass, and I'm like, uh, I was like cringing the whole time. I was like, no. And it, okay, uh, Godzilla. Drew, have you seen the the more recent Godzilla movies? No, none of them. There's no. a there's a scene. Um, I heard the there's one a scene that where you he's barely water. I heard the one that you barely see him is really good. No, I'm talking about the second one. I heard that one was horrible, and that's why I he, never watched no, it. They're all good. Really? Yeah, I oh. liked them. I liked them. Anyways, so in number two, then Jeremiah, where he's under the water. And they've got that big glass pane in the. Do you know what oh, I'm talking about? Yeah. And he, like he like he like goes slowly towards them, and his his things are his spines yeah. are lighting up a little bit. Yeah. Dude, I was like, I was. It was the same, it's yeah. the same thing. I was like cringing the whole time. You see him swimming way far off in the distance. He gets closer and closer. Yeah, and then and he like... disappears, and I'm like, whoa, 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 <laughs> where did he go? <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so so there's that. So yeah, I just, wanted, I, just, I just wanted everybody to know that if you feel the same way, you're not alone. I don't know. Again, it's not a terrible fear of mine. Unless you're trapped fit. in a tube underwater and there's a big giant monster, then yes, you are alone. Correct. Yeah. True. Yeah, we were talking about how the tubes, them in the medical tubes filling up would be a fun water ride. And it's like, no. No. no not doing that. So I feel like I would I feel like I would I would feel the same way in space, though. So maybe it's like the vast, like empty, kind of. You, you want to know where the bottom is. Well, Correct. So you've you've we've talked about Jurassic Park. What about when that the ball goes into the water and it's sinking and there's dinosaurs sinking down? How how do you feel about that, that scene? No. Didn't even phase me. No. Well, okay. Because I th- there's a there's a there's a pain of. Uh, there's a break like you can see the the light uh, what i'm talking about is like you're in the middle of nowhere you can't see up or down correct or you're like in or deep, around deep water correct because an octopus will eat you dude it's weird it's super weird man i'm not I mean, saying it's no it's, I get, I don't think it's it. weird i don't think it's weird it makes weird. sense i i'm not like scared of it i've never thought of it like that like i'm I'm personally not scared of what you're describing, but if I was in that situation, I probably would be scared. Yeah, you know right. what I mean. Like, yeah, and like Jesus seeing it is... doesn't scare me, but if I was ever in that situation, it would scare me. Devutus oh, yeah. brought up uh, brought up the Meg, the movie The Meg. I haven't seen it, but I've seen uh, the trailer, so I I, I love that it. movie. The only scene, the only scene that freaked me out was the one where. It swims slowly towards the girl. They're in the they're in the the underwater, like lab, and it comes out. It fades in and, and swims slowly towards her. The rest of the movie, I'm totally fine. So, it's just weird. It's super weird. No, I don't think anyone disagrees with you that it's no weird, and unless it's like people who are like underwater like explorers, like then it's not for them. It's not weird. Well, but well, and getting, those are just things. Yeah, I was anything, gonna say they're just different people. Like, if anything, my fear of, like, I want to say it's, like, a real fear, but, like, I don't have, have any intentions of ever going on a boat ever again. Uh-huh. I have no, like, I don't want to deal with that. Like, so, like, even, like, if I took you on my boat, you wouldn't go? Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'd go on your boat. Like, Thank I'd, you. I, one, I don't know how to swim, technically. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> technically? Like, oh, what? yeah. So, like, that. But, like, I think drowning is probably, like, your biggest the worst way oh, yeah, to go it's, out. Yeah, so, it's, it's terrifying. So yeah. like, that's fair. I, I wouldn't have any. I had a friend whose boyfriend recently. Okay, don't listen. No. Nope. Anyway, <laughs> so they're uh, a- how a- did how did how was that the term that the the turn that we were about to make? Listen, A-Z, 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 he he goes ahead 
and goes up the tube to like try and reboot the power because uh, obviously you need power to. That was a strong tube, by the way. True, and also mod, the, the big big water boy definitely bit that thing quite a few times. Well, like, uh, it's strong because it's so far under water. All the weight of that water on that thing has to, has to be strong. True. Correct. But what I'm saying is that it held up against it, chomping on it in an already weakened state. So, And also to your point, is this a giant snapping turtle, essentially? It, it, yeah, it is. That's what it, it looked is, like. It did look like a turtle, yes. So, but so he's, you know, doing a little droid key thing, whatever they call it. Like, so I, he's doing. He's it took a little long. Like, I don't know if it's because he's just not used to doing that thing because he's a wait, medical what? droid. D- did did you have like a stopwatch? All right, easy. Yeah. Start well, timing him. Saying, well, compared to like, R two, oh, yeah, he was pretty slow. R two chopper, except for the season when he kind of. <laughs> blew it but like i feel like i feel like if it should have been like echo could be like ap fly me up there and like he could just hung from yeah AZ, echo would have definitely been echo, way faster he could have finally done something that mattered this season but whoa okay Dang. am i wrong he opened two doors he opened like two or three doors all season i mean uh, you're not you're not wrong uh, I, not. he got he got the chain codes in like episode two like yeah. okay that's important, but other than that, what else? His outfit's cool, and he's he's still one of the family. Okay, Dom. Like nobody cares. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jeremiah referencing the Dom means. I've never seen any of those movies. We're family, family. Um, it's all but, about family. Uh, Echo could have definitely gone a lot faster, but that's hilarious. But Az got the job done. Turned the power on long enough to shock the the crap out of that turtle. And then it shorts out, and then they are able to get up the tube, whatever. Um, I said whatever. Yeah. It was so, a little more intense than that. That's almost the most intense part of this whole episode. But Almost? No, the escape was the most intense part. I said of the almost. Episode. You're right. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. Um... <laughs> um <laughs> So they continue on and they get to Nalase's uh, secret, secret lab. lab. And I totally misremembered. Oh, really? Something. Because, like, Hunter gets there and he's like, What is this place? I'm like, What yeah. are you talking about? You've been here before. Oh. Uh... And I'm like, I watched the episode twice. I'm like, I just don't. How did he? Why is he? Like, this should be Crosshair saying this. And I was like, oh, wait, he was captured and he was brought onto Camino and then he wasn't there. <laughs> but like for the whole time, for like two episodes, I'm like, I don't understand why he doesn't remember this. He was just there like 20 minutes ago. Wait, so when did you remember? This was after I watched it twice. Like, not like during the second watch, like after the second watch, I'm like going to, going to work or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's there. He kind of gets a lowdown about how this is where they were created. Um, but while they are there, they realize that the tunnel that they took there to get back to the ship has been destroyed. Yep. Which, of course, it had to be like that because yeah. it, it would have been super easy for them just to hop in the pod. and Yeah. And I don't know, do something else aside from... Being on Camino like, for the like, whole episode, but like fine. salsa dancing lessons. Is that okay? Yeah. Back to the dancing. You know, what? you know what? I would have appreciated it. Okay, you wouldn't. In real no, I wouldn't. You're right. No, you're right. No, no. Um, let's see. So, they come up with a plan. Well, Omega comes up with a plan. Oh yeah, and then Crosshair is a jerk. Yep. So I she's to like punch him in his freaking face, like more than she's once. Like, He's like, we can ride these tubes up to the surface and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, so she, what does he say? He's like, oh, we're taking, what are, uh, when did, yeah. Taking orders from, did, the ki- yeah, since when did the kid gives orders or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Which, like, 
don't, I don't know. Like, uh, it's uh. not a crazy thing to say because he doesn't know her, and she's just a kid. So like, obviously, but he's an elite elite soldier, like whatever. So like, yeah, her calling a shot, like I get it. Like, she he doesn't know her as well as we do, but Hunter was like, well, you got a better idea, and then like bump shoulders with him when he's walking by. Like, yeah, he gives him that that cold bump. Shoulder bump, but it's, it's like Don't the room is like the room sister. is super small, so he, he bumps into him and he's like just like two feet away. Like it's not like he walked away. Like. Well, <laughs> it's it's the the emphasis of his point, Jeremiah. He had to. <laughs> right. And so, um, I, it's at, I think it's at this point when A Z starts showing uh, some light flickering and saying, "I'm losing some of my power," but it's like I'm gonna put on my reserves or whatever. Um, yeah, he really he really could have used some coffee to to boost his energy levels a little bit. I, I think that would have helped, in my opinion. Or uh, it would have been bad to, for a robot to drink liquid. and Not if the liquid's super special, like Wesley Andrews coffee. Oh, okay. true. Yeah. Okay. And speaking of Wesley Andrews coffee, they happen to be the sponsor of today's episode and we have a message queued up from them to tell you a little bit more about what they do so why don't we take a quick moment and listen to that right now hey everyone andrew here i'm pleased to tell you that the sponsor for today's episode is yo 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 thanks for the sub you don't know anything about wesley andrews you definitely should (laughs) galactic award-winning coffee roaster and shop thanks galactic poo poo and they make fantastic coffee the awesome thing is that they have a subscription service that gets those amazing coffee beans delivered to your door. Andrew got the other ad ready too. Bi-weekly or a monthly basis. Unfortunately, we're nope. all being oh, okay. affected by this virus right now. Nope. With that being said, what a better time to try some new coffee and support a local business. I know they'll greatly appreciate it, and we will too. Death by After Pi all, asks, asks how much do you think he planned to do the sponsor break now? No it wasn't a plan. Check out. There's a certain point in the we'll episode where I know we're getting close to halfway. I think we're over start, halfway, actually. And I start looking for the <laughs> opening. <laughs> Get 50% off, support a local Minneapolis coffee shop, and support your favorite Star Wars podcast. In the words of Emperor Palpatine, do it. Do it. Do, Do it. it. Get some coffee. <clears throat> yep. So. Did you like that? Yes. I wrote that just, just for this. So I hope you appreciate it. So. Anyway, so, yeah, they're talking uh, They're talking about the, the battery. And AZ's battery's dying. And now. This is when we start to get a little sad because we know yeah. something bad's going to happen. Um, so. The plan then is to go into tubes and float up to the top, but you have to blow this, the window ch- out the charges, and then they'll, they'll just get sucked out, go up, and the plan would be for AZ to guide them by moving them around in the water to dodge debris. And so I get that plan. Like, I get it. Mm-hmm. But like I feel like they could have turned him off and just waited for, like, an hour for all the debris to go drop down, and then they could have gone up for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think there were any pieces falling that were big enough that they. But could, they like, they actually... couldn't though, because remember their oxygen levels were. Tech getting said low. they had a few hours. It wasn't even tech; it was echo. Yep. Good job. Nice one. Another thing but he did because his had family a... <laughs> does his part. F- family. Uh. So. I would say they could have waited at least an hour. Yeah, maybe an hour, but yeah, they didn't. I have mean, honestly, they didn't time. even need that. They just needed fifteen minutes. But yeah. I, <laughs> but I also feel like it took them a little bit to get all of those things like set up. Now you just get in and you just release them. No, I don't know. It seemed like it took them longer to set it all up than. Well, they had to do like draw straws to see who had to go get stuck in also, a tube with the other well, person, like. Which I was telling. Andrew, I thought it was really weird because Wrecker got his own. Makes sense. He could barely fit in one, right? Right. 
Crosshair and Hunter, sure, that makes sense. Because, or, yeah, because Hunter has to watch Crosshair and make sure he doesn't do any funny business. But why was the smallest person by themselves? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. Well, she's lighter. And so she would she would rise to the surface faster. Yeah, but if they would have split the weight, then like Echo or Tech could have went up to the surface faster. Well, they still got there first, so. Well, I understand that was for story, but I'm just saying it didn't really make <laughs> sense to me why that was a setup. Like I, I mentioned it as soon as I saw, I'm like, why does a small person have their own tube? You know what I mean? Like, it was well, kind of weird. But... She's a lady, and they were doing the gentlemanly thing. To let her be alone let her... in the ocean? To let her have room. Okay, well. All right. But you also had a point. They, they, they left her alone. In the ocean. In the ocean. It's fine. But I guess she's the oldest one, so. she She's the elder of the group. True. So. So, but there's... Originally, there's five. Wait, how many original members are in the Bad Batch? Four or five? Four. Four. Echo made was... five. Okay. Cause it, so there was only four tubes because there was four Bad Batch members, right? Correct. So, um, so then they had a total of... But there's six. six of them. Okay. So I was like, I can't Ooh, even do that math. math right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. But I also I think it has to do with they wanted to like either way someone would, would have, have to go alone. It would have to go alone. Well, yeah, so, but it does to me it just was weird that the youngest person, the smallest person, she's the oldest. She is the she smallest. Is, she's the she oldest. Yes. Yeah, okay. Is. Sorry, the oldest person, the smallest person, the less like developed, developed person is by themselves in a tube. But I guess you put, like, the robot characters together, and then, yeah. Dang. Because <laughs> one's literally half a robot, and the other one thinks like a robot, so. Wow. We're out for we're out for blood for Echo today, huh? No, I, I, I there's no bad blood. Wow. I like Family it. stays together, and we just... Family. I like Echo, too, but... Oh, he don't, don't, don't. He hasn't, don't. He hasn't, he hasn't done anything. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Maybe season two, he's going to shine. He's going to, like, he's going to plug in somewhere, and he's going to, it's going to be like a conductor in front of an orchestra, dude. He's going to just. Oh, my gosh. This man said he's going to plug in somewhere. And play the piano. That's what he just yeah. said. <laughs> but anyways. Wait. So, that's the plan. They're going to ride the way up. AZ's going to guide the way. Which is, that's a lot of work for one little droid to, like, be moving four tubes around in the water. Mm -hmm. um, but, yes, that's and the he plan. He was fast. He was. I was surprised at how well he was able to maneuver in the water. Um, so, it's going up. Things are going pretty good. You know, the tubes, he's doing his job, blocking, like, moving tubes out of the way. Um, but while that's happening... Omega gets trapped under some falling debris and gets pulled down. And so AZ sees the other three go up to the surface and really he has to dive down. When he's diving down, you see his lights flickering. I'm like, oh, no, this is terrible. Yeah. Um, I, there was a moment during this scene where I thought for a brief moment, that I was going to have to go to Dave's house and very respectfully rip him a new one for killing off Omega. I, for a second, I believed it. Before or after she goes after AZ? Both. 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 There were, there were moments where I was like, oh, this, this could actually kill her. And then the second moment I was like, she, you know, she, she could just let go. Uh, but clearly, that's not what she's doing. She's not thinking very logically. So this could also kill her. And that would be a really lame way to to die. 
Yeah. But it didn't have it didn't happen that way. Yeah, so. right, 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 right. <laughs> um so she's trapped and you know the the rest of the bad batch on the surface are they're waiting for like where is she, where is she? And so while she's trapped on her, A Z is able to cut her loose using his amazing solder or like whatever he uses to cut things. Three feet, whether three feet of tubing or couple inches of steel on the bottom of the ocean he, he can do it but uh she breaks free and is able to say hey i'm i got stuck but az got me we're going up and so az's underneath the tube just pushing as fast as he can and he starts losing power and it gets really sad because what he saying, says at the end he oh. says your path is clear my mission is complete or something complete or something like that but Oh, that was so sad. I got they got me. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna be that guy. Oh no. But I was not attached enough to him for me to be super sad. Me either. I was like, oh well I was like why in I the look. moment I was watching, I was like, Oh no, he dies. Oh no. Look but like at the end of the day, uh yeah, like uh, I, I, I felt for the bond that was being yeah. torn apart. I felt for I felt, Omega. I, yeah, I did not feel for him as a character because we haven't spent a ton of time with him. Like I like him. I love him as a droid. Like don't get me wrong. Like he's I thought great. he's really cool. I something we didn't mention. I like that his like hand unlocking tool or whatever is on his back. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So but, like I, I, I get it. But like, also, it the, the 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 scene that we're about to hit where she goes after him, I was like, D- what the, what the heck? Dang, David in the chat. Az already died once. Why do I care if, this time? Question mark. Because I mean, we kind of did think that he was already dead. Yeah. So. But the but the other thing is like again, with the, she she floats up and she's like, I'm going back to get him. And she opens her pod and like, dude, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna. I'm that gonna, was like, oh, I'll, I'll be the no. bad guy. I'll be the bad guy. It's a droid. Oh, family. But okay, but like, if this is okay. This is R two or Chopper. Heck yeah, you go in after them. Like I would, I would open my. Well, if it was R two or up. Chopper, this would never happen. Well, that's also true. But if, I, but like, I wasn't as in. I'm not as invested. And so I'm like, you know what? It sucks. I feel I feel sorry for Omega, and honestly, I feel I feel like I sound super harsh right now. And if I am, I'm sorry. But like, I don't know. I was just like, that's a little stupid to to risk your life because it's honestly more important that you live. True, but that's because you care about her. Well, it's because of the so stakes much. too. Like she's part of the team now. Like she's a special clone. Like. This is a moment where if she had thought of herself, I wouldn't, it would have been out of character. I think what happened was very much in character. And I think that what she did was understandable because of the development we've gotten from her. I don't hate that at all. But what I am saying is like, this would have been the one time that if she was selfish, I would have been like, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but okay. So you said we don't have enough time with az to have that emotional connection okay so how did you feel in the episode of rebels when we meet ap5 and chopper and them are fighting to get off the ship and ap dies in chopper's arms did you have any emotional connection with that episode or don't you remember that i don't really remember it no that is one of the saddest moments in Rebels. Like that really gets me too. Like a lot of people, when you watch like reactions of people watching that, like they get emotional watching that. And then there, that's a twenty minute episode. So, yeah, I don't know. I felt it when Az died in front of Omega. It was, yeah. I I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I wasn't like, ha, this is hilarious. But like, <laughs> it just, it just wasn't like, I, I was like, okay, someone's got to, honestly, I was like, someone's got to die. I'd rather it be him than any of the core characters. Well, like, I, I legit yeah. thought that I was like, okay, if, if we've got to have a token death, sure. 
I think it would sting more, and I think it would be more impactful if one of the main members died. But you know what? AZ, that's fine. I liked him. I'm going to be sad that he's not there. Of course, I'm thinking this in the moment, but I'm okay with this. So are you watching this with Micaiah? Yeah. And how how is she reacting to uh, I don't remember. I don't... <laughs> I don't think that I don't think I think I mean I think it hit her a little bit but I don't remember it being like an earth-shattering moment or anything. It was sad, but I felt like I felt more sad for Omega than actually losing a droid that we've seen like 3 episodes worth. So, yeah. But it's Again, cool I Jeremiah him, that it, you're character. sad. I think now that we're going to get him a lot, I feel like yeah, if this were to happen next season, oh, it's going to be sad. It's going to hit me. Now, is he going to overtake Gonk, and Gonk is really not going to be a character next season? Most well, likely. Gonky kind of got, kind of got fried. Yeah, that's true. No, he's still alive. Oh, is he? Well, he's a droid, so are yeah, they he ever was, alive? He was, he was uh, in the last episode on the ship. Well, good. So he's he's good to go. He's that's good. He's strong. He's he's a gonk. He he gonked his way through the the pain. Gosh. All right. But yes. So Az loses power and is falling away. When you see a wide shot of them separating of the tube from him falling down. Beautiful shot. Yeah. Perfect shot. It would have been really funny if the monster came by and oh, gosh. <laughs> ate AZ. <laughs> uh, that made that way more sad to you. <laughs> that would have made it kind of funny at the same time, though. She's like, I'm going after him. She's about <laughs> to push the button, and he comes in. Oh, ah, and then it's mind. her turning around trying to save her life. <laughs> but, yeah, so um, she's like, AZ, I forget what she says. Like, AZ is his last power or whatever, and she's like, I'm going after him. And Hunter's like, no, no, don't. And she pushes the button, and I literally yelled, "What are you doing?" Like, I, I, I was shocked that she did that. How early is this when you're watching it? Uh, seven thirty. Imagine being in the apartment beside him, Drew, just hearing this this girl make, oh, grab what a, are you doing? grab a broom and start like hitting the floor, <laughs> like go back uh, to bed. But yes, I, I yelled out loud, like, what are you doing? And so I was like, this is super intense. And then, like, her being pulled down because of how heavy he is, like, because we kind of think, forget that, you know, even though he's like, because he floats around and flies around, that he's not that heavy. It just seems like something like that. We kind of just associate that with being light. But, like, he's super heavy. Like, he probably weighs like 200 pounds, like, even though he's like that little droid. Yeah. And so, like, She's just getting pulled down, and the guys on the top are freaking out. And Crosshair takes out his sniper and points it right at Hunter's face. And we're like, "What the heck is going on? This is not the time, Crosshair." And I Where didn't is it? like one. I don't even remember him having his sniper on him. Like I didn't even. I think he took it off of Hunter's pack. Yeah, because I think Hunter had it. But then they're in the same tube, so in that moment he was able to grab it. Well, also while Hunter was bending over. That's what I mean, in that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, this is terrible. Like, what do you do in this moment? And then, like, he aims and then moves his rifle to the water and shoots the tow line or cable or whatever. And so it latches on to. What AZ. if he would have just shot her? Yeah, I mean, that could have impaled her. No, I'm saying, what if he would have just shot her? Ooh, see, that, that is season finale. Stuff that right would have been crazy. If it was like a shot well, in the water, okay. and then that was it. But here's, we don't know what happened. <laughs> but here's the thing, like, it'd be pointless for him to sh- try and shoot her because she's already going to die. Like, it's like... Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Like... That would have meant that would have meant though that Crosshair was super evil. Yeah. Because he's like, I'm adding well, insult to entry. She's already dying, but maybe you know what? maybe he watched uh, Zombieland and <laughs> learned double tap. Like, it doesn't apply here, but sure, sure. <laughs> well, that's just the first tap. And then her falling yeah. to the bottom of the ocean, that's, and getting that's, crushed. That's, that's fair. That's the second tap. 
Um, but yeah, so the cable latches on to AZ and pulls them two up, which I don't know. Like, I feel like it would have been more emotional if like it was able to grab onto her only and then AZ falls all of her arms and she's like being pulled up while it's falling still get the same imagery as it was in the tube but AZ's alive now apparently just got <laughs> plug, plug him in the gonk um, yeah, true but yeah so they pull her out of the water and Echo Tech and Wrecker have their guns aimed right at Crossy. They were, right they were gonna it. light him up so oh. fast, <laughs> so fast. Oh, that was that, that was, was so cool. That was intense. Like, like I kind of want like a we got the what if, and now being released for Marvel. I want to know what that what if would have looked like for that scene. Like, we it, know like, what it would have been. He would have died. Been There's no what if. I, I just want to. Been... I just want to see that what if that's all like, like i know i know for a fact that they were not set to stun i know right. for a fact <laughs> like that would have ended very badly for crosshair right and but, he knew it but yeah crosshair saw that all the guns aimed at him so and he threw his rifle to wrecker and wrecker caught it so he kind of like oh i guess i sh- doesn't look good for me to have a gun right now so i i also out of that moment i i feel like he was sad too I, d- I did get a sense for that, yeah. Like, I got a sense that he was sad that, like, they didn't trust him at all either. Like, he did a good thing, and even with that good thing he did, he turns around and all the guns are pointing at him because he has that gun. Like, none of his brothers trust him at all, and for him it seemed like he was kind of sad too about that moment. Like, yeah, oh, wow. Like, they're definitely not going to take my side at the end of this. Yeah. Uh, so they uh, say we got, they got to start paddling to get to their ship, which is quite a long distance away. Because <laughs> it's like just looking from the surface of the water, like it's like a horizon away, basically. I mean, it's it's quite a few miles, yeah. Right. So um, do you think they just paddled with their hands? or? <laughs> yeah, they did. They were. You saw them. They, they were I like think. this. Except for Echo. Well, <laughs> or maybe he put it in the water and it spun it. <laughs> like a motor. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Like a, like a little mini motor, yeah. yeah. Would have been. Wrecker has huge hands, so he would have just been able to whoosh, go for it. Whoosh. Right. Mm-hmm. But they get there. Who knows how long it took them because it was daytime by the time we see them next. Yeah. So. Um, and it was they, pretty. They get up there and they're just watching the beautiful shot of the, of smoke. the smoke. Yeah, and it was uh, not raining. It was not raining. It was sunny. So there's so, sunny times. Yep. It's like <laughs> the worst day of their life. It's when the sun's shining, like on Camino, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is just kind of funny or not funny but um whatever Dang, Jeremiah. ironic ironic this is, this that's is the, the word you're that, looking this for is the guy that literally just said i basically would have loved to see the what if of them killing crosshair and then he's like yeah that was nice it's a nice sunny day you're two for two yep definitely that's fine um so hunter then asks crosshair again like hey you can come with us we don't have to be enemies blah 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 but crosshair is not having it like he wants to take over to be part of the empire who he knows is going to take over the galaxy he wants to be part of it um and they so they start walking away and omega is the last to kind of like turn away from the burning city and Walks past Crosshair and then stops. And Crosshair's like, you have something to say or whatever he says. Um, then she says, like, they're still your brothers, Crosshair. And you're my brother, too. We're family. Basically. Yep. Um, and 
that's it. They go back to their ship, fly off, and... Dave, David, I looked down at the chat. David said they should have fed Crosshair to the Mosasaur as a peace offering. <laughs> <laughs> they um, should have. That's hilarious. But yeah, so Crosshair stays on the platform and... Okay, pause here. Oh. Before we get before we get into the other scene, I I want to know why he didn't go. I know he's like big emotional boy right now. Okay, he's got his prides on the line. He's conflicted. He's emotional. I get that. But why would he not go with them? Even if his intentions didn't change. Because he wants to join back with the Empire. Sure, but he can do that more efficiently. No, because they're actually... going to come by and pick yeah, him up. They, they, said, they said the scouts are going to come by and survey the area, most likely. So we got to be gone before they come Is back. Is his mission to still bring them into the Empire? He has no mission. That's why I don't care about him anymore. He, yeah, but he wants to still be part of the Empire and take he over still the want... but, but like does it involve bringing the other Bad Batch members into the Empire? Probably not. Probably not. I don't to. know. Okay, I'm Why? just saying he has a he has the ability. No, to because be like a, a, a double agent at this point. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like he could have been like undercover the whole time. And yeah, like, but it's not like age. What? Your voice is just really loud for a second. No, oh. it did that thing again. It's fine. That thing it always does. But it's not like he can be like, what really again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. You're fine. good now. No, you're good. Keep talking. No, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? We are talking about him being a double agent. Oh, he's not going to be like Callus, where he can, like, do nonviolent things. Like, he's the best sniper in the galaxy, probably. It's like, he can't not be a double agent because he has to still kill innocent people. Yeah, I, just, okay. I, get, I get what you're saying. I just don't care about him. Like, I don't know. Like... I have no like I have no emotion for him. I'm not mad that he he chose that path and it's like whatever now. Like it's like like he's not a big enough bad for me to care. Is that a, does anyone well, else like thing, feel the like thing, that? Like the thing is is he's landed now. He's landed now, so like he's not enough of a bad guy for you to care. He's also not enough of a good guy for you to care. He's in this like weird gray zone now. And like the Empire doesn't care about him either. Right. And so it's And like, so like I feel like we're supposed to feel pity for him because at a certain point the Empire's not even gonna want him anyways. And he's gonna get and he's gonna learn that probably very quick yeah. next season. Well it's But it's I don't like, feel bad th about that though. It's it's, it's like it's you, your own fault, you dummy. Like you got multiple chances and it's like when you have a friend or a family member that keeps making a really dumb decision and you tell them, you sit them down, you talk yeah. to them, and then they still continue to make the decision and you love them and it like, it may, it may even hurt to see it happen, but then at the end of the day, there comes a point where you're like, I just, I got to let you do you and yep. separate and like I, on a much smaller scale, that's where I'm at with Crosshair. I'm like, dude, you've had so many chances. Just, just go back with your, with your family, you know? Like, and at this point, it's like I don't even want him with the family. Like, I don't yeah, care. Because then you have to go through the process of showing the relationships being built back up, which I think could be heartwarming. But then at the same time, so, I'm like, we got AZ. There's a new member. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Dave Filoni has a bigger vision, but like as of now, like what I got out of this episode was. I don't care about Crosshair at all. I also don't find him very threatening at all. Like, for me, he's not the big bad. Like, he's not a threat to, to the Bad Batch anymore. To me, I just don't... I just see him as a waste of space at this point, in my opinion. I don't know. Oh. Wow. How do, how do you feel, Jeremiah? Well, I, I like that he is... A villain who chooses to can to continue to be a villain, like we see in Star Wars, like people like can't have a change of heart and go to the good side all the time. So it's like refreshing to see the opposite. Someone who was a good guy, in a sense, who who's choosing to be a bad guy and then continuing to be a bad guy, 
even though all the good guys are trying are pleading for him to come like i i think it's good because it's not he's, predictable he's not he's not like a normal he's not like rampart who's just evil just for the sake of being like he just he's cast as or not cast he's created as an evil character <laughs> for the purpose of being an evil character so he we know he's always going to be evil um but like seeing crosshair he's we see him as an individual who makes the choice to be evil and continue in the evil. Because he wants the power. And he's also um, falling for the lies of the Empire also. Like we see him True. being swayed by the Empire to be evil. And um, he sees it as being part of his purpose. Like he talks about our purpose is to go on missions and to follow orders and to do this and he thinks he's being a good soldier he thinks he's being who he created was created for um but he's going down a path that the bad batch can't follow so like um yeah but it it's super weird because his actions last episode don't lead me to believe he's fully dedicated to that path now that is true like we talked about that last week how it was kind of like a weird like dynamic. i, I but I think I, th- he, I think that it is his resolve for the path he's on. It is now super diluted. Yeah, it's weird. And 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 that's well, that's what I don't is think weird for me. Uh, diluted in what? Like he doesn't. Well, he wouldn't... keeps saying like I want to be a part of the empire and blah 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 blah. But like he clearly killed his entire squad of elite stormtroopers last episode. And then, like, gave them a chance and then basically said, don't join the Empire, but trust me and we'll join the Empire together. It was, like, super weird. Because I think he thinks he can overthrow. Like, I don't know. It seems like he wants control. He wants to be in charge. And it all—it seems like he, he thinks once the Bad Batch is part of the Empire, they're going to be able to be that, that elite... Empire squad that no one's going to be able to fight against or something. I don't know. It's weird. Well, he just wants to be because he knew how dominant they were with the Republic and he wants to continue that. Like, he wants, he knows that when he had those elite squad members that they weren't as capable or efficient as his rest of his team with the Bad Batch. So, like, it's he's missing his family like he's missing that group he's he's more sentimental than he puts on and we see that last episode and so like him wanting to recruit the bad batch members is because he wants to have that camaraderie again that he's not getting with the elite squad mm-hmm. he wants what well, he said he's not getting with the empire um and so he thinks that if he can recruit them he can fulfill his purpose of going on missions and doing something for a bigger cause, even though that cause is technically evil. He's doing it with his brothers, and now he is in that position where that's no longer an option for him, because he 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 made his case to to join him and the Empire, and they said no, and they flew off, and now he's by himself. So it's it's now he's seeing his failed dream come to its end like, and so like he now he's at a torn where he's gonna be torn and now now i still think that probably next season or in later seasons he's going to pull a vader and turn to the light at the end and maybe sacrifice his life to do something good but i don't know i like like the direction that they're doing with him because he's it's a very complex story for crosshair and like yeah Maybe it would have turned out better if we see him, saw him more throughout the season, rather than just like a few episodes, where we could kind of see that you know his internal struggle play out and him trying to like desire something. Like we could have seen him like maybe on a mission with the elite squad, where they're kind of just kind of like in like a, like a waiting period of on their mission where they're kind of like waiting for the the night to fall or whatever. And like him having a flashback of something similar with the Bad Batch, where he's having a good time with them, a family moment, and then it goes. But then it's them just kind of like waiting on their mission and not having any camaraderie. And so like it went cool if we saw his internal struggle. It's like why he wanted to get the Bad Batch to come to the Empire, 
Um, but I think we might see that more next season where he is now completely alone with no dream of having what he once had. Yeah, and like uh, something that happened a couple episodes ago, like the Empire doesn't really care about them. Like they're not threatened really by the Bad Batch. Right. And so it's like at this point, I just don't see the Empire even wanting Crosshair back. Like they don't care about him either. So well, like I I don't know. I get the if you look at it from a, a loss of a family and like the family bond point of view, I totally understand what you're saying, Jeremiah, and I could see obviously see the depth there. Like I get that. Um I think the other part of the motivation though, just to like be a soldier and continue fighting and all that stuff, like I feel like that's not strong enough for me. I don't personally feel it's strong enough for him to be that pulled into the Empire again. Yeah. Like I, I it's just not it's not a Well maybe he'll you know, he'll get picked up by the Empire, but then defect not to be a good guy but to go on his own thing to be like a mercenary or bounty, bounty hunter, hunter or something where yeah. he's trying to find his purpose in doing you know paid missions and whatever um which it could happen yeah but it's possible i don't know i just, I, I just i'm excited I feel like I feel like we're gonna get, we're gonna eventually get to the point that we want him to be at, but it's gonna be super drawn out, you know. And and I Possibly. and I'm and I'm not saying, like I'm not saying that I I wanted him to like turn to the good side at the end of this episode. But what I what I do think I think you were right, Jeremiah. We should have gotten more of this, this whole depth, because I I, I feel like the complexity that they're implying wasn't accurately shown. Yeah. I think we didn't get enough, enough of him in the show. Yeah. And I think that's uh, maybe one of my issues with it. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I would have either liked showing more of his struggle or a stronger drive. Cause like the chip makes sense. Yeah. Like the chip makes sense. Obviously, it, it explains the compulsion. It explains the strong desire to be a part of the Empire and be a part of, quote, you know, what's right and what's good at this point in the Star Wars timeline. But, like, the second they, he was like, yeah, I had my chip taken out a long time ago. I thought it was going to be more intense. Yeah, outcome. I was like, okay. That, okay, so we're, we're still, so, okay, he's, he's actually evil. That's fine. Or he's actually <laughs> conflicted. That's fine. But then he shoots his squad, and I'm like, ooh, Okay, so he's willing to kill off Imperial soldiers to get his squad back. I guess that's really touching, but the goal is to still be a part of the Empire after he's seen in his right mind the way that they treat the clones, the way that they're phasing them out. The, like, And I get it. It's like, oh, we're special, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, do you really believe that? You know, it's just yeah. weird. I guess well, it's weird he, for me. He does say when he's escorting Hunter into the facility, he's like, Hunter's like, they're phasing us out. Like, we're next. And he's like, they're not going to phase out the ones that matter. And so he's actually trying to survive because he knows that if he doesn't perform well at the highest degree, he's going to get tossed aside and just decommissioned like any other clone. So, like, it is about survival for Crosshair 2, that he needs to be the best, sure. be the most efficient because if he doesn't, then he's going to get discarded. So there is that. Yeah, but then but then he has a way out. He literally has a way to go do similar things with a group of people he, underneath the service, I know truly loves. I think the thing is, though, he doesn't in. think that is his... He thinks that they're weak by hiding. Like, he views the Bad Batch as being a weak group right now because they are hiding. They're not being their full potential. They're not fighting in a war like they're not who they actually should be and for him he sees that as weak and like like you guys were saying earlier like he's not a good they're not good soldiers because of that like he doesn't want to go with them because he doesn't want to hide and run from the empire that is everywhere 
So I get why he is choosing to still try to stick it out and go with the Empire so he can still be who he was meant to be, who he was created to be. But I don't care anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I've seen a few people in the chat mention, like, you know, I wish that there had been more of a fight, more of an emotional, like, exchange or even a fist fight over the ideologies. Yeah. And I think that's the other thing that would have made a bigger impact because it, it feels like like Crosshair kind of made an attempt to 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 push his point, but then he really just didn't. Like he just kind of accepted it. Hunter was like, "Okay." And then they split ways. It wasn't like yeah, he even tried to At the to end it them. wasn't really it it didn't have a full effect. Like at the end it seemed like it kind of just kind of went like bleh. Like, Omega had her interaction with him, and maybe he could have changed his mind, but he didn't. But then, like, even Hunter, Tech, and Echo already gave up on him. Like, they're like, meh. Like, then they didn't say anything. They didn't beg him. They literally turned around went right up to the ship. Like, they did not even want to talk to him. Yeah. So, like, all the crew already gave up. None of them are begging. Like, if they would have all tried to beg and he would have still said no, like that would have showed even more evil, but they kind of already gave up on him. And then Omega said that quick little thing. And it, for me, it just felt short. Like, I don't care. He's just a bad guy. He's not that strong. The empire doesn't even like him. And it's like, what else? You're just, a, I don't know. I would say I, I do appreciate the depth that they're trying to convey with him. I yeah. hope we get that more fleshed out in season two because if not it's it's gonna seem to me like a throwaway almost and that sound it, i mean that sounds harsh and and obviously like i think dave does have a plan and i i, I trust that he's gonna flesh out the story super well but at the end of the day like as of right now it i i, I know that there's conflict within crosshair i know that they're preparing for a deeper story but like we're not we're just not there yet. And for me it's like okay. Sure. Like they, you know, he has his reasons as confusing as they can be sometimes and he has what he thinks he needs to do and now he's at this point of like internal conflict, but it would have been nicer like you said Jeremiah to get more of that so that I could understand it better, I guess rather than like all of it kind of boiling over in the last two you know or so episodes yeah so i don't know now it would have been funny if when the h&m took off it would have just broke no the the thing would have started to sink underwater again because there's no ship there (laughs) but whatever apparently any weight on it Count says a presence that doesn't make it sink down again. But correct, it would have been funny if it started to go down. While he's like, "Wait, wait, I'll, okay, I'll go. I'll join you. I'll join you. Come back." <laughs> um, but yes, but I think it would have been cooler if they would have started taking off, turn around, and it psh, held there with their full that would have been terrible. engines burning him to crisp. Why would they? Why would they do that? Because. I don't care about him. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> so, the final scene. All right, here we are. Let's do it. So, quick question: Do you think this was uh, Daro? No. 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 Okay. So I guess we're on a new planet. Yes. Facilities built inside a mountain again, just like on Daro. Put me in, Coach. Go ahead. Uh, Andrew, is, number uh, 21. Hey, that's me. Okay, so. Hey, that was my number in high school when I played baseball. Oh, well, there Which you 21? go. 21. 21. Yep. Okay, so obviously they land. There's a ton of commandos there. Clone yes. commandos. They Pretty bring cool. Alice out. And she talks to some random cloning. They're wearing the logo of the, the Kaminoan cloners. Very similar outfit to Dr. Pershing. It's not entirely the same, but it's basically the same. And she's like, the Empire has lots of great things in store for you. And they, they walk her in. And that's the end. So first and, first and foremost, 
this location 100% reminded me of the planet Wayland uh, from the Thrawn trilogy. Um, you have and, images? Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, and also, more specifically, Mount Tantis, which is the mountain, if you remember, they had... You don't. That's fine. Uh, it was the Emperor's Secret Storehouse, and that's where they had all the cloning material and stuff. And George, you remember there was a the evil clone of Luke. You don't remember any Vag- of it? vaguely. It's fine. Okay, so it was the Emperor's Secret. Storehouse. I remember so this, two this U's, is, right? Huh? Two U's, right? Yes. The the, the clone of the Jedi. Luke. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this this was obviously the uh, a fairly large center point in the Thrawn original Timothy Zahn uh, Thrawn trilogy. This reminded me a lot of that because that facility was built into the side of a mountain on a world that was called Wayland that was forested looked very similar to the one that they're on. So here's a plot twist. The planet Wayland is actually canon. Oh. The facility of Mount Tantis has not popped back into canon yet, but Wayland, the planet in which Mount Tantis is located, uh, does pop up in the Vader Immortal VR series. Well, I played it. I played it. As a hologram in that series. Yes, I remember the hologram. Yep. That's exciting. Yeah, so Wayland is a thing. Uh, We don't know about anything about Mount Mount Tantis, but it is not far fetched to to think that Dave Filoni could be bringing another part of that Thrawn trilogy into canon. So we okay, we know that location from the Thrawn trilogy, which is post Return of the Jedi. Does it say in that in the trilogy? what that facility was used for during the time of the empire. Like, Mm -hmm. so we don't even know. You're talking about Mount Tantis. Yes. Uh, it was a storehouse for the emperor, like a secret lab. It was similar to like, um, gosh, was it his, his like secret storage facilities, like on Jakku or whatever in Canaan during battlefront. It was essentially that, but it was like he had a ton of Sith relics and some cloning stuff, you know, some cloning equipment and a bunch of like, there was some experimental research and stuff going on. It was kind of an all, all purpose, like black ops place. So, I mean, it would fit if, if they were, if they were going to, if, if the Emperor was already looking into cloning himself, already working on this plan, it would make sense that that would be where it was because of the, the lore surrounding it in Legends, too. Hmm. So I'm excited um, because if that's the case, then that's just a little bit more of the original Thrawn trilogy that's coming into play. Which, with all the Thrawn stuff that we're going to be getting in live action, like, yeah, they could actually they could conceivably inter to interweave that into that story, and have like the Emperor be between bodies or whatever, still trying to figure out the cloning process, and it take place there and have a kind of similar story ish. Maybe Thrawn was like one of the original leaders of the First Order or something. I don't know. Because the First Order did come out of unknown space. So, who knows? They could they could be tying all this together and creating like a new pseudo-Legends Thrawn story. That'd be exciting. It'd be really cool to see some Ysilla Mari too. But I don't know if they're actually going to bring those in in the main story. So. Alright, so... Now we have to do our speculations of what they want to use. Now let's say four specifically. So, as Andrew, oh. no. Well, yeah, but like what? Because you mentioned Grogu. You mentioned 
Oh, for Palpatine, I, but I'm like sure what? It's Palpatine. Right. It's either, it's either Palpatine or they're doing some other crazy because like they're getting rid of clones in the military. So why would they need cloning? Well, obviously Palpatine wants to like clone himself or another force user. Yeah, probably or something like that. He was just supposed to add more depth to the prequels. Sequels. Sequels. I don't know. I know you think I'm crazy, but I think. Oh, Lord. I think it's the Zillow Beast. You don't think, think it's cloning? They're I mean, cloning the Zillow Beast. That's it's. I mean, they. Yeah, Palpatine I, already I, said that in the Clone Wars. Like, I would be disappointed. <laughs> I'm saying it would be. They're not going to be working on only one thing. True. Sure. Sure. I'm saying okay. There's two giant mountains. Like, I think there's three. Or, okay, they they proved my point even more. Like you could. Yeah. There's three different projects right there. One's Palpatine. One's. One's. The Zillow Beast and the other ones, something else. Like, I don't know. I I know you guys don't want the Zillow Beast story to come back, but it was already started about cloning him in the Clone Wars. Palpatine has big plans for him anyway, so it would make sense. It wouldn't come out of left field. It would be yeah, perfect sense. It, it, would, it would make sense. I, I agree with you there. It would make perfect sense. But I I really want to get more of Palpatine's backstory. I want to see Palpatine. Yeah. I, I, I want to get more of that story other than, ah, Snoke was a thing. We don't really know how he's related to Palpatine. Oh, Palpatine's got a clone body. It's falling apart. Uh, now I'm going to suck the life force out of Ray. Like, it, <laughs> I, 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 want, I want a legitimate backstory for his character for as powerful and as wise as he is. You know, I'd rather it be that than, oh, this is Zilla Beast. You know, so I don't know. Maybe I just sound like a grumpy old man during the podcast episode tonight. And if I do, I'm yeah. sorry. No, I feel don't, like I do. I was the one apologize. that was hating the whole time. Don't apologizing. Don't apologize for being yourself. It's just who you are. There's nothing you can do. You're just like cross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but any other speculations for next season? The way that they ended the actual Bad Batch story, I have no clue. Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't look forward enough for us to know. We have yeah. crosshair stuff and cloning stuff. Um, do you think we will see a lightsaber next season? Maybe. It's possible. Yeah. Do you think we'll see Dr. Pershing? No, you like just said as... he was like five years old. Okay. The person, not the do- – like. He'd be a child or a teenager. But like you I, don't, go see him I don't on, know how many kids they have on the, you know what I mean? He like a, He could be a prodigy. Yeah, he could be, actually. I mean, we may. I think we might hear the name, like, because maybe that's his mom or his relative. It'd be cool like that, but I don't think we actually need to see him. But it would be cool, though, if we did get a name drop somehow. Well, any other thoughts before we jump into social media and our rank next weeks? We got to rank it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'll give it, an, give it a seven and a half. Ooh. I'll give it a 7.1. Oh, guys. I'm... I'm, I, I want to say a solid six point eight. Oh. oh, okay. All right. I I think if this had been a standalone episode, it would have been way higher. Like if this had been like episode I don't know, like episode six or seven or something, like somewhere in the middle of the season. Or if it was I just would... one episode with last week's. I don't know if that really would have helped me, though. Oh, it would have. Trust me. If you would have not had a, a week break, it would have been one long hour episode. It would have been amazing. I would say, like, if this if this part of the story had taken place towards the end, but not for the season finale, it would have been a 10. Like, oh, that's gutsy. They're destroying Camino already. Like, let's go. Oh, like, true. Is, you know what I'm saying? But, like, and, and I think it's a standalone episode. 
without it being associated with the season finale, I'd probably give it like an eight and a half or a nine, but like because it's the season finale. Part two. Yeah. Seven and a half. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Sorry, everyone, if I sound too harsh. I stole my Nor- 7.1 normally, from normal- David. So Normally, I'm the guy that's right. like, oh, but th- Daddy there's so many good things me. about this, blah, 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 blah. But today, I'm just like, I was hoping for more. And that's just where I'm at. And that's okay. True. If you loved it, let us know why. Let us know. Maybe you can convince me to like it more. True. I don't know. I did my best, and it didn't work, so... <laughs> Well, how can they convince you, Andrew? I, I, I don't know. I would just have to have a discussion with. Well, them. the I way leave a voicemail, join Discord, all, all the methods. That's, that's yeah, what he was how, getting oh. at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you, uh, you're listening to the uh, the audio version of this podcast, go into the description. There's a link underneath the description that says links with two eyes dot co forward slash empire radio. That link is also in the About Us section on our Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Empire Radio, and it is in our Instagram bio. Um, and if you click that, you can link to all of our social media accounts. So there's little um, icons you can click on to get to all of those. And there are separate links as well. So one, leave us a voicemail. So if you haven't been here on a Tuesday night, which is our normal uh, streaming night, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, the end of those episodes, uh, we take the voicemails that have been submitted for the week, and we play them, and we answer questions and react to them in real time. Or if you don't want to uh, have your voice played on air, we will still answer your questions. So if you want to submit a voicemail, there's a link for that. There's also a link to join our Discord, which is a party 24-7, except for maybe during the days on weekdays where there's like a little bit of lull because people are working and or going to school, but mostly it's a party uh, and you'll definitely, if you're a longtime listener of the podcast or you're new and you want to get connected to the Empire Radio community, that's going to be the way to do it. Um, so all of our social media uh, information is over there. Go ahead, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, and connect with us. All of these episodes are streamed on Twitch. Uh, we were doing Tuesdays and Fridays. This is the last Friday uh, f- until we get another show, of course. But now, uh, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Uh, Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, like I mentioned, we do stream these on Twitch live. Uh, so if you've heard us mentioning the chat, that's what we're referencing. Uh, and you can be there with us live. And then the video versions of those episodes go up on the YouTube shortly after. So, yeah, just make sure you connect with us. And here's something really important. Oh. Especially if you're, if you're listening to this on Friday, August 13th, Saturday, Sunday, or the Monday following, uh, before Tuesday the 17th, if you are going to get a, a voicemail in and you have not already, now is your time because yep. as you heard at the beginning, this is our 100th episode, but to celebrate, to, add, to do for the actual celebration, we're celebrating on episode 101, and that is going to be streamed live, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Um, and we are dedicating the entire episode to questions and interacting with our listeners and our fans. So if you're going to be in a chat, that's the one you need to be in Correct. on Twitch. If you are going to send in a voicemail, please make sure you send it in before 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. There's a going to be a hard cutoff <laughs> for, for voicemails this week uh, because I need to make sure I can get them all in before we start streaming. Um but now's your chance. Literally, the whole episode is going to be uh, dedicated to answering questions. If you join our Discord, there's a channel. Uh, specifically, on the left-hand side, there's a channel. Thread? Channel? Channel. There's a channel. It's specifically for dropping your questions in. Uh, so this is going to be the one where we're going to be interacting really, really heavily with the Twitch stream. We're going to be answering questions. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you tune in for that. Also, yes. It would be dope if we have our highest number count on Twitch. So if you haven't, you've been hesitant, or you haven't had the time, try your best to have time this Tuesday because we want a lot of you guys in here. We want you guys all interacting with each other, interacting with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's celebrating you guys and us and us as a crew, as a family. 
<laughs> family. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, just come out. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a blast. Maybe, maybe we'll all eat muffins or something. That'd be really That's cool. That's not a hint. That's not a like. We're not. No, no. I just, I something. literally just could, threw it could, out there. We could each have a muffin. We could see who could eat it the fastest. Dude, all three of us. let's. Oh, I, easy. I'm done. Me. Oh, challenge accepted. But, I mean, like, no, I mean, like, like the whole... stuff it all in your mouth at one time and then Easy. try Easy. All right, really? bet. Bro, I can eat. Let me tell you. All right, well, we got to figure I, out what kind of muffins we're going to get. I we all have to have the same one. I am known for being a fast eater. Well, so... you're known of oh, wow. shoving lots of muffins in your mouth, too, at the same time. Like that's 12. True. Like that's, mini muffins. That's also true. One re- actual muffin. Just Anyways, saying. It's going to be a so blast. We're going to have be fun. A blast. We're going to do crazy yeah. stuff, maybe. I don't know. And but just just to oh go ahead nope oh but just to encourage people who have not sent in a voicemail before but you've wanted to do it like it, yep. it's it's only takes a minute and we would love to hear what you have to like if you don't even you don't even have to ask a question if you just want to say hey love the podcast thanks like we want to hear that too like we want to hear that makes all the warm fuzzy feelings no if, um, I, if, if for real does like no uh, I, it's my favorite thing yeah so please, please just send those in. Like, even if it's a funny story about like, oh, I do work at Taco Bell and I listen to you guys during work and it helps me get through it. Like, that's great. And I'd love to hear that. Just as much, if not more than a question, honestly, because it re- it's really nice to know that we're yeah, and helping the people and making a difference. And the questions, we'd prefer not to be about Star Wars. So ask us anything. It's... If you want to know how tall I, I think, well, someone already asked that in the on Discord, but oh, okay. well, that's one of our questions: is how tall we are. So, yeah, like, yeah, if you I want mean, to this know. Is, this is the episode that we're gonna we're gonna be candid and yeah, answer I think personal questions. I think it might have been Daddy Pelps was like, "What's your mom's maiden name? What's the street you grew up on when you? Oh what's God, your, name your first pet? Like, you'll know what, all what, the information. What are these security questions for our password backup? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> anyways. But uh, also, real quick, there's going to be a pre-stream stream, so you guys are going to want to come out to that. We're going to be opening a bunch of toys, Ooh. so I'm just going to open a bunch of toys, and you guys are going to hang the, out with me, and it's going to be fun. The way Drew has his hands up right now it's is like, so unenthusiastic. It's, it's, it's no, I was like toys. saying these toys behind me. So yeah, yeah, you guys want to hang you. out before stream with me and open Star Wars toys up and just chat and hang out. Pre-party to the party. Um, hey. I'm I'm thinking around five. You you. I'll let you guys know the day of in Discord. But yeah, come on out for that as well. If you're not in the Discord, you're screwed. If you're so not in the just Discord, make sure you, just make sure you join. <laughs> or honestly, just go to twitch.tv slash Empire Radio. Hit that follow button. Hit that notification, and then you'll know when we go. Li- I'll go live and come hang out. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Anything else, it. boys? That's it. Nope, that's it. All right, you have been listening to another tubular episode of (laughs) Empire Radio. I'm Jeremiah. I'm Drew. And I'm Andrew. And may the force be with you. Oh.